So Google just announced that they banned over 150 dangerous applications. So if you're an Android user, whether you have a phone, whether you have a streaming device, even your Fire Stick, and you sideload applications, there's a good chance you could have one of these apps and you need to go in and delete these immediately. So this video, we're gonna go over what those applications are, as well as what information could be at risk. In the comments, let me know if you have any one of these apps installed on your device. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So Google just banned over 150 dangerous apps, so delete them immediately. So I am reading from BGR.com. As always, I'll link this article in the description. So the article reads, no matter what device you're using, you have to be on the lookout for scams. Any email you receive, text someone sends you, or app you download could be dangerous. We can't even go a week without a new thread popping up. And this week's is a collection of fake Android apps on Google Play Store. So that kind of clears it up, guys. Text messages, uh, emails, what look like these apps were actually on the Google Play Store. So cybersecurity company Avas has been reporting on a scam campaign dubbed Ultra Sim in recent weeks. According to Avas, 151 apps were part of a premium SMS scam campaign. These fake Android applications disguise themselves as legitimate tools for photo editors and camera filters and games and QR scanners. The intent is to get victims to sign up for expensive SMS services. And it can all happen in the blink of an eye. Before you know it, you've lost some money that you might not be able to recover. The fake Android apps downloaded by millions. If you install an Ultra SMS app, it will immediately check your phone's location, IMEI, and number to figure out which country area code and language to use for the scam. When you open the app, you'll see a screen in your language asking you to enter your phone number and your email address. Once you submit information, the app will sign you up for premium SMS services that could cost upwards of $40 a month. At this point, the app will display even more subscription options or simply stop working. You'll then be charged every week by the scam service. Needless to say, this is an extremely dangerous situation. You might think that you're safe or that you're too smart to fall for the scams app like this. Problem is, that's what everyone thinks. These scam apps are a huge problem that can affect anyone. In the blink of an eye, you can start losing money from fake Android apps because it's important to always remain vigilant. So furthermore, it goes into how are people falling for these scams. So the apps discovered are essentially identical in structure, meaning the same base app structure. And these copies are disguised as a genuine app through well-constructed app profiles in Play Store. The profiles feature catchy photos and enticing description alongside often the review averages. However, upon closer inspection, they have generic privacy policy statements and feature basic developer profiles, including generic email addresses. They also tend to have numerous negative reviews from users that correctly identify apps as scam or has fallen for the scam. So that really doesn't narrow it down because if you ever been to the Play Store and you check the reviews, you're gonna have a legitimate complaints, but even for legitimate apps, you might have people saying, hey, this is a scam, don't fall for it. So kind of hard to just look at the reviews and go from there and see if it's a scam or not. So Android device users have already downloaded the apps more than 10.5 million times. The good news is that Google has since banned every app that was a part of the specific campaign. You should check the full list of fake apps to make sure you don't have any on your phone. If you do find any of the apps from that list on your phone, delete them immediately. So of course I'll link this article, but let's go ahead and check out the full list. You can see you have um, generic apps that might even look legit in the Google Play Store. Ultimate Keyboard 3D Pro, for instance. If someone is just searching for a keyboard or something, that might pop up and might cause you to download it. Um, GT Racing, New Body Shape Editor, Pro Tuber Ad Blocker, iOS Launcher. So that's a launcher disguised as whatever. So that's a fake launcher just there to take your information, steal your, your money basically. Pulse rate checker, who call ID spam blocker. So, so many apps in here. And guys, as you can see, this is a full list. So I'll leave a link to this list as well. If you wanna go ahead and just scan through, just make sure you don't have anything on your phone. That's on this list. And if you find something, if you think any information might be useful to anyone else watching this video, drop it in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, smash your thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.